In this session, we're going to be looking at calculating our seasonal variations again. But this time, we're using the multiplicative model. Now, our approach is very similar as it was under the additive model. It's just that the equation we, we are going to use has changed slightly. So, if we're using the multiplicative model, then we just assume that our actual sales are equal to the trend multiplied by the seasonal variation. And if that is the case, we can calculate our seasonal variation as being equal to our actual figure divided by the trend. And we're going to use the same example we've been using in previous sessions to calculate our seasonal variations, now using the multiplicative model. So if we have a look, we have our three years worth of information and we've already calculated our centred moving averages or the trend. We have our sales figures, these are our actuals. So now we need to calculate the seasonal variation, which will be our actuals divided by the trend. So, looking then at quarter three of year one, our actuals were 34, our centred moving average, or our tr trend, is 29.5. Our seasonal variation, then, is just 34 divided by 29.5. So, you should get 1.153. Have your calculators out. We need to calculate the seasonal variation for all of our remaining quarters. So for quarter four of year one, it'll be 44 divided by 30. So we get 1.467. For quarter one of year two, you should get 0 0.721. For quarter two of year two, we have 20 divided by 31.5. It gives us 0 0.635. For quarter three of year two, 38 divided by 31.5, 1.206. For quarter four, 48 divided by 31, 1.548. And our last two, quarter one of year three will be 18 divided by 31.5 and quarter two will be 20 divided by 33, giving us seasonal variations of 0.571 and 0.606. So really, once we know our equation, seasonal variation is equal to actuals divided by trend, the calculations are straightforward. So, once again, if we look now at the seasonal variations we've calculated, for quarter three in year one, our seasonal variation is 1.153. For quarter three of year two, our seasonal variation is 1.206. So, because we're just estimating the seasonal variation using our averages, we've worked out a different variation for each year. So we're going to have to calculate then what is our average seasonal variation for each of the four quarters. So we'll set up our table. We've got our four quarters. And we've calculated seasonal variations for each of our three years. We don't have anything for Q1 and Q2 in year one. And we'll just put in our seasonal variations for quarters three and four. Likewise, input our information from year two. Then 
then for year three, quarters one and two, we have 0 0.571 and 0 0.606. So finally then, we just need to calculate our average seasonal variation. So for quarter one, the average will be 0 0.721 plus 0 0.571 divided by 2, giving us an average seasonal variation of 0 0.646. If you just calculate our averages for the remaining three quarters, you should get 0 0.6205 for quarter 2, 1.1795 for quarter 3, and 1.5075 for quarter four. Now we have all the information we need. We know what the trend is. Sales will increase by 0 0.5 per quarter. And we know what the seasonal variation is for each of our four quarters. So now we can do our forecasting. If we have a look back at the question, we have been asked to forecast the sales for Q2 year four and Q3 year 5, now we're using our multiplicative model. So if we have a look, remember our trend that there will be an increase in sales of 0 0.5 per quarter. So if we forecast for Q2 year 4, first we are going to start with our most recently available trend. So in Q3, excuse me, Q2 of year 3, our trend is 33. Remember we're using the multiplicative model, so our actuals are equal to the trend multiplied by the seasonal variation for that quarter. So our trend at Q2 year 3 is 33 units. We need to adjust for our increase in the trend between Q2 year 3 and Q2 year 4. Well, four quarters will pass during that time period. So four multiplied by 0 0.5 gives us two. So the trend at Q2 year four will be 35. If we then adjust for our seasonal variation for Q2, which we just worked out if we check our table. The seasonal variation for Q2 is 0 0.6205. So our actuals, or rather our forecasted actuals, for Q2 year 4, will just be the trend of 35 multiplied by our seasonal variation. And we should get 21.72. The second bit of forecasting we've been asked to do is to forecast what sales will be for Q3 year 5. Again, we just need to work out what will the trend be in Q3 year 5 and then multiply that by the seasonal variation. So our starting point is the same. We've got our trend at Q2 year 3 is 33. The increase in our trend will be 0 0.5 for each quarter. How many quarters passed between Q2 year 3 and Q3 year 5? Well, that'll be two years plus one quarter, so it'll be nine quarters. 
So it's 9 multiplied by 0 0.5 gives us 4.5. So the trend at Q3 year 5 will be 37.5. What is our seasonal variation for Q3? If you check our table, our seasonal variation is 1.1795. So our forecasted actuals for Q3 year 5 using the multiplicative model is just our trend multiplied by the seasonal variation. And you should get 44.23.